Hello everyone, I'm Allison Law and I'm here with HHB Media and we are here in Beverly Hills at the NAACP Theater Awards. Stay tuned for the celebrity arrivals, hhbmedia.com. So I have Stephen Bishop here. He's one of the presenters tonight. What award are you presenting? Uh, I'm presenting two awards, actually. The Wingman Awards. Okay. You know, that's the best uh, best male supporting in a local and another best male supporting, uh, I forget the full name of the second one, but it's two Wingman Awards. And that's, you know, that's the theme of what me and Lisa are doing tonight. Okay, so you're a pretty well-noted sitcom actor from Girlfriends to Being Mary Jane. What's next in your career? I uh, just uh, wrapped a uh, romantic comedy for Lifetime Sony uh, with Regina Hall called With This Ring, uh, produced by Tracy Edmonds and Sheila Ducksworth and Gabrielle Union. Um, and uh, I have Miss Meadows that just came out Friday with Katie Holmes. Uh, and I'm about to be co-hosting His and Hers on ESPN2 on December 8th at 9 a.m. They invited me to come co-host with Jamel Hill for the, the hour. So that's going to be a dream come true for me. So that's... You know, that and some other things that are in the works, you know, but we'll leave those alone until they come to fruition. Gary, with HHB Media, I got Shantae Moore here. You are one of the most ageist voices of our time. Let everyone know what you're doing with your music, the touring you have going on. Well, More Is More is out, and um, I'm singing a song from that tonight called Jesus, I Want You. And it's not a gospel album, but I feel like the gospel either is in you or it's not. Either you love the Lord or you don't. Right. So, anyway, it's about my life. Um, and I had just finished a book called Will I Marry Me, and it's out now. You can get it at willimarryme.com. Um, and I'm going to make that book into a one-woman stage play. So okay. um, hopefully you come and see that. I'm um, doing R&B Divas LA again, new season, and it's better. It's just better. Last year was really troubling and I'm okay now. Erica Hubbard, how's it feel to be here tonight? I'm very excited to be here at the NAACP Theater Awards again this year and as a presenter. It's a phenomenal night. As you can see, the crowd is hyped and um, I get to present Best Director, so I'm excited. So I have Donna's Leonard Jr. from House of Lies here. What brings you out tonight? I'm um, here to present for Glenn Turman, the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award that he greatly deserves. So it's an honor to present for him. So on House of Lies, you play a character that deals with gender confusion. How has that stressed you as an actor? Stress me as an actor? Not at all. I mean, I'm excited to play him. It's, 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 it's one of those one-of-a-lifetime roles that's different from me in real life. So it really, um, it shows how versatile I am as an actor, and I'm really proud to play it. Well, we have the Christian Kids here, a man with a resume, very long, actor, producer, singer, writer. What brings you out tonight? Um, just supporting, and then I'm a presenter as well, so I'm just, just glad to be here. Honored that they would want me to come present. So just excited to be here around all this amazing African-American talent. So now, Note to Self is one of my favorite movies, and it's very uplifting for young men like myself. What motivated you to write that and present that out to the public? Um, I wrote that in 2005. I just wanted to write a really cool college story, like a really good college film, and and... It, I felt like it was time at the time, and it took a while to get it made. It got a lot of no's, but then Tridestin and Image said yes, so it came out, and, and people, you know, great people like yourself really enjoyed it. Uh, people are still talking about it on a daily basis, so I'm just excited that that got done, and there's, there's even more coming. Aaron D. Spears here from Being Mary Jane. What brings you out to the 24th Annual NAACP Theater Awards? You have to celebrate theater. Theater is an amazing aspect of, of acting. You, you have no cut. You have to continually think and be on your toes. If you mess up, guess what? Think of something. Because nobody's going to come and save you. There's no retakes. So it allows you to sharpen your craft in no other way in acting. This is the only craft that allows you to really, really do that. You have to project your voice. There's so many things that go into theater. People do this day in and day out, week after week, and we're here to celebrate them tonight. Hello, everyone. I'm Allison Law. We just finished up here in Beverly Hills at the NAACP Theater Awards here with hhbmedia.com. Stay tuned.